Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like my friend Denitza over here within the digital infrastructure. We're coming at you live from PTC 2020 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And I am now going to attempt to pronounce your last name. Sound good? Yeah, go okay. Ahead. Over here to my right is Denitza Arigova. Argarova, almost. Dang it. There you go. <laughs> I was so close. I felt I felt really close. Denita is the director of data center development at Provident Data Centers. Yeah. Um, Denita, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Now, you said you weren't going to look at the camera, and you just did, and it was perfect. <laughs> well, there we go. <laughs> See? Okay. So now um, let's get into uh, okay, exciting news <laughs> on the Provident side. Yeah. What's going on? Tell, tell me everything. Well, Provident Data Centers, as as you know already, is uh, part of Provident Realty Advisors, which is a Texas-based company. Mm -hmm. And so we have partnered with Powerhouse to build one of the largest. We love Powerhouse. Yes, mm -hmm. a great a yeah. great partner yeah, yeah. indeed. So we will develop a 768-acre data center campus. Well, in kind of uh, small, right? <laughs> you know I'm kidding, right? That's, it's right. huge, right? In uh, Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, which is a pretty pretty hot market, actually. It so, is a hot market. Why yeah. why why Dallas? Obviously, it's because it's it's a hot hot yeah. market, and because uh, of demand. I'm assuming because of a large demand, as as we know, yeah. there's a lot of demand there from you know the hyperscalers and the operators, and um, we're quite unique actually in that sense because um, you know we. We will be one of the the largest campuses in South of Dallas. So. I, I assume yeah. I assume that was going to be one of the bigger campuses right. uh, in that market. And speaking of, um, okay, yeah, D Dallas Fort Worth data center market is one of the hottest in the country. We talked right. about all of that already. Yeah. Um, so, what sets your data center apart from the others in the market? Yeah. So, what sets us apart is really the sheer size. I mm -hmm. mean, it's in terms of acreage, it is mm -hmm. a very, very big campus, and also in terms of power capacity. Um, so, I was we, hoping we'd go there. Didn't right. You yeah. Right. It's it's a big deal for the industry. Yes. So, um, we have been approved for 500 megawatts today from ERCOT for that. Um, for that campus and it will be a multi-phased campus so mm -hmm. that's a, just the first phase mm -hmm. but we are developing at the moment actually and in, in engineering um for the first 345 kv handoff on site with the switch yard being able to uh, accommodate up to 1.8 gigawatts and that the, is legitimate yeah, yeah yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty big deal yeah so, no it, it already yeah. sounds like a big deal um Okay, we can't talk about data centers and not talk about AI. Um, I can only imagine that uh, this massive campus is, is going to be able to support these very high density, uh, density applications and, and do all of that um, as necessitated by the advent of AI and the deployment uh, of AI. Um, from, a, from, from Providence seat, where is AI taking the data center space, generally speaking? Right. So I think that, you know, for, for the AI side, I mean, AI and high compute in general, mm -hmm. this needs to be hosted in, you know, sophisticated, um, well-equipped data center campuses. Mm -hmm. And Provident Data Centers is actually uh, focusing tremendously on this and pioneering this in mm -hmm. the primary and up, uh, you know, up and rising markets yeah. around the U.S. So um, the way we stand out is we are actually bringing, uh, you know, pad ready up to high quality developments for end users mm -hmm. with, you know, ample power, power capacity to yeah. each of our sites. And so our actual, um, our DFW site is is a key example of meeting those AI uh, needs mm -hmm. and this, com you know, complexity behind it, while we're also trying to ensure, you know, the reliability there and the efficiency and the operations for the end user. Yeah, it, it's not yeah. enough to just build it and yeah. have have power if, yeah. if it's not being, if it's not be, being built correctly. Because you, you think about like the way data centers, these kind of legacy big boxes, right? Mm -hmm. um, that is not the same formula that we need today, that we're building today right. in order to accommodate these high density applications like AI, et cetera, right. et cetera. And so I imagine when when you folks go into in Dallas, Fort Worth, your mm -hmm. first thought is, are, are, are we going to be able to build a kind of future forward state of the art facility that's right. going to be relevant when it's done, right, not right. just today? 
Right. And also, again, back to back to capacity in terms of, you know, the, the DFW site that was just announced. I mean, we, we are trying to accommodate for the enormous power capacity that would come into that area, especially yeah. to our site. And that's exactly to your point for the AI needs. You know, AI is a tremendous consumer of, yeah. uh, of power. <laughs> yeah. So we are planning ahead in terms of accommodating, even with our switch yard and the infrastructure to accommodate for a bigger load and a, mm-hmm. and a bigger demand that's coming. Yeah. Well, good, good. I mean, it sounds with a with a facility yeah. that size. I imagine you're you're anticipating that demand to not go anywhere for <laughs> at least a decade. Going up, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's predicted to keep going up and rising. So um, as long as there's innovation, as long as there's growing high comp- uh, growth in high compute, yeah, um, it will it will only get bigger. Uh, but power consumption will only get larger. Yeah. Um, I, that's all. That's all I have. I mean, oh, that was well, that was a quick three to five <laughs> minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was no, great. thank I, you. Yeah, no, it was my yeah. pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us on JSA TV. Thank you so much. You got it. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. Stay connected. Stay curious. Stay healthy. I'd like to stay in Honolulu. Um, yeah, I know, right? We'll see you soon. <laughs>